It's tougher than any man-made material. It's a combination of strength and elasticity. No other material can actually combine these two features. Either material is strong or it's elastic, and spider silk is both. Five times stronger than steel, spider silk has been tantalizing the human imagination for decades. You want to be Spider-Man, you have to make fibers. But we can't just farm the silk because spiders eat each other. So scientists have pursued other routes. A DNA sequencing breakthrough in Germany means manufacturing spider silk fiber is no longer pure fantasy. The next step is really producing tons of the material. In all the offices we have spiders and you know, they're, they're like pets. We like to have them around. We think they're beautiful. If eight-legged co-workers make your skin crawl, then the biomaterials lab at Bayreuth University probably isn't for you. It's here that Professor Thomas Scheibel and his team study natural substances like spider silk in the hope of turning them into super materials. Spider silk has, for a lot of material scientists, been the holy grail for decades. If we take a thumb-thick um, spider fiber, we could actually get a jumbo jet holding up in air without tearing it apart. It can withstand hundreds of tons of load in full speed without breaking. The best um, silk producers are all weaving spiders. They have seven different types of silk with different properties. We find dramatic differences there concerning mechanics, but also concerning other properties. Wanting to harness these characteristics led to Scheibel's breakthrough in genetically modifying bacteria to produce spider silk proteins. This patented technology formed the basis of AmSilk, the company Scheibel founded with a postdoc from his research lab, Lynn Roma. The bacteria we are using as working horse are very simple organisms. They only try to grow and we exploit that. We, we feeding them, we give them perfect conditions to live and they multiply and multiply. And afterwards, we, we change their way of living. We, we give a trigger so that they stop proliferating and they start producing our protein. After purification, we have the protein in form of a white powder. Amsilk takes the protein powder and spins it into a fiber. So what you can see here is our spinning machine where we produce our biosteel fiber, which is then transferred to the yarner who can make the yarn and then later the fabric out of the material. The material is a vegan and biodegradable synthetic biopolymer. Rather than use the biosteel material in their own product, Amsilk wants to produce it for established brands who have expertise. Adidas used it to create a concept shoe and Omega made a special edition watch strap. Airbus are also exploring how it can be used in aviation. They know their product, we develop together with them. The product has much higher quality in comparison to what we could do on our own. The company has raised millions in venture capital, but producing enough of the material is the biggest challenge. Yes, it's very thin, you need a lot of the fiber. In a normal sports shoe, there are more than 170 kilometers of this fiber processed into the yarn and later the fabric of the shoe. The company says it has made hundreds of thousands of kilometers of fiber so far, but scaling it up further will take time and money. But like the orb weaving spider, which uses different silks for different parts of the web, Amsilk is putting the spider silk proteins to use elsewhere. In the beginning, we had this great innovation. We had thousands of opportunities how to use that for industry. And this was a beautiful problem. You can use it for different applications. Everyone had the experience when he goes to the basement that there might be a spider's web and if it's an old house it might be there for hundreds of years and it's not degraded. Uh, so the question is why? Microbes have a big problem sticking to the web. If you're lost in the woods, get a web, you can use it as a wound coverage device, you can wrap your food, you can actually prevent your food from rotting for a few days. The material is a proteinaceous material. We are all made out of proteins and our body responds very good to the protein and that's very suitable for a lot of medical devices. We probably have more than 80 different uh, variants of silk molecules that we can play with. Some of them are very well suited for tissue regeneration. Some of them are absolutely opposite. 
we really just at the beginning into understanding how this material has evolved to actually feature different kind of applications. And that's exactly what we want. Amsilk is building up production facilities to make its material at mass scale. It's hoping to capitalize on the product's broad potential and take a lead in an industry harnessing the best attributes of natural substances. We are living in a time where materials made from proteins will become more important every day.